But let's give a warm welcome to Dr. James Buckmaster. Thank you for coming. I didn't raise all those children by myself. My wife helped me. <laughs> I'm Dr. James Buckmaster. I run a clinic for the working poor in Henderson. Those that are uninsured who fall through the cracks. I've been helping them for the last 13 years in a walk-in clinic in Henderson. They come in, they're seen in three to five minutes by me. They have quality care. All that's going to end Louder. when Obamacare gets in. Okay. Now the Democrats are right. We need health care reform. And I stand with them. Each and every one of them. Each and every one of the 36 that said no, no, no. care for the uninsured, but not this monster. It's a job killer and it's a nation killer. And when I'm in Washington, I hope I get the opportunity to drive a stake through the heart of this Obamacare. And that's hope you can believe in right there. And I also join you in asking, where is Jack? And it was going to cost too much money for him to get involved in this lawsuit. Boom. How much money are you going to spend on this thing? $300 million a year we're going to waste on this debacle. Now I hope he's not planning on spending $301 million on this uh, lawsuit. Well, we need Jack to come here and explain it. We need him to come here and talk to him. The last thing we need at this time is a government to take over and screw up the health care. And many say, well, we already have a mess here, and this will fix it. If the fix is so great, then sign up, Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Sign up, Mr. Reed. Sign up, Mr. President. And by the way, the line starts in the back. race for the United States Senate that has been endorsed by the Kentucky Right to Life. I am. And that's the first one in a long time. And when they kids, you know that I'm pro-life. And I'm not happy about all this abortion language in the Obamacare. And I'm not buying this executive order thing, this executive order headband. Washington, and we finally get a time to repeal Obamacare, it will be late in his term. So I would recommend a late term procedure to be done <laughs> on this bill. Right. So let's whip it up, and let's hand it back to him, and let's tell him to start all over again. We want health care, but we don't want this. Oh no, we do not want this health care. And we're not going to sit down and shut up. We're going to stay there until this thing is fixed and we get our country back and they start looking at the Constitution and they listen to us when we show up in Washington by the millions to say, stop. I think the Commonwealth should invest a little money and buy a better PA system. What do you think? Yeah! I want to thank Dr. Buckmaster again. I didn't have this information in front of me, but he, uh, for the last 13 years, I want to make sure you know that he has owned and operated the Corpus Christi Clinic, which is a walk-in clinic for the working poor, the uninsured, and the underinsured. I think he knows more about what needs to happen with health care.
We're delighted to have more folks from the healthcare sector today to help us, including Mary.